In the previous video, link in the description, we saw how to make our agent follow the mouse cursor using the follow steering behavior. Here, we are going to make it arrive smoothly to the cursor. Let's get started. We are going to create a new character so that you can see the difference. So we'll have our follow character here and let us create a copy of the character follow scene. Right click in the file system tab. Let me reset that. You want to go to source agent character follow, right click, select duplicate and we are going to enter character arrive to. It's going to arrive to a target. With that, double click the scene to open it. Let's rename it to character arrive to here as well. And we want to create a copy of that script. Click to open character follow and file save as. We're going to save it as character arrive to. Once you've done that, you want to make sure in the file system tab to drag the new script onto your character arrive to here to replace character follow. We are starting with the same base because arrive to is quite similar to our previous behavior. The way it works is it's like follow, but when you enter in a circle around the target in a certain radius, you slowly scale down the velocity. We are going to duplicate our distance threshold constant that we are still going to use to stop the character definitively to add one called slow radius. Let's make it, let's say, a 200 pixel circle around the target. Save. And from there, we want to bounce back to our steering utilities autoload to add our arrive to function. If you press Control Alt O, you can quickly open a script in your project. So we're going to open steering.gd here. And after follow, we need to add a new one called arrive to. You know what? We can copy the follow function because it's going to be quite similar. So copy it. Well, I'm going to paste it down there. I'm going to move the view and rename it to arrive to. We want to add one parameter I typically add it before the mass called our slow radius. And we are going to add a new default slow radius constant at the top. Don't forget the comma at the end of the line. So I'm going to copy that name, go back at the top of the script, duplicate the default max script constant with control B and replace it with our slow radius, the default one. Let's make it let's say 200 pixels, whatever. Go back down to the arrive to function and we are going to add the missing bits, the missing part. So with this one, we want to calculate the distance from our agent to its target. So the distance to the target, going to call the variable to target, is going to be global position dot distance to target position. And this is similar to what we did in our character in its physics process function. And we still calculate the desired velocity the exact same way. And from there, we want to reduce the desired velocity if the distance to target is within the slow radius. So we can do it like that. We can go if the distance to the target is lower than the slow radius, we are going to reduce the desired velocity. So we're going to multiply it by, we're going to take a ratio to target divided by slow radius, like that. And then you can offset the value a little bit. So this is going to give you a ratio between zero and one. If you use that value, it's the pure arrive to behavior, but it tends to slow the character so much, it starts to move really slowly to the target. So I like to offset it by a small value, for example, times 0. let's say 8 plus 0. 0.2. When you do that, you make this value 
two target divided by slow radius, a value in the range 0, 0 0.8. And then you can add 0 0.2 to make it in the 0 to 1 range. So from there, we are scaling down our velocity vector based on the distance to the target. And that is it. Really, that's all that we need. So save, go back to our character arrive to script, and where we used the follow here method, we are going to use arrive to instead. Now we have to add the slow radius parameter after the max speed. With that, we have to go back to our game scene here and click and drag character arrive to in there, or you can drag it on the canvas. I'm going to move it, move the two characters away from one another, like so. Press F5 to try out the game, and you're going to see they move at the same speed and the same way. Again, the behaviors are kind of the same, but the arrive to character smoothly arrives to the cursor. Right. And if we increase our arrive radius, so you can go back to your arrive to character, we can change our slow radius into an exported variable. So let's move it down two lines with alt down. I'm going to change the constant here by export variable, slow radius. I'm going to select slow radius to remove, I don't want it to be uppercase, that suggests it's a constant, as it's not a constant anymore. Control R go to uh, the replace field, enter slow radius, and replace all instances. Okay, now going back to the game scene, we can increase the slow radius to say 500. I'll hide the character follow. It's still there, it's just not going to be visible. So there you can see how the character starts to slow down from far away. You can see how it does maintain a bit of momentum, a bit of speed, right? Um, if you go back to your steering function here, steering behaviors, and we remove the time 0 0.8 plus 2, press F5, you can see how much the character slows down, how it's a little too much, right? So you, you can really visualize it this way. That's why I recommend you to add that uh, little multiplier and the to set the desired velocity to a minimum. That's it for this one. It's long enough already. In the next video, we'll add the ability to click to move to a target, to animate a little crosshair, to start to pimp up the game a little bit. Might add the, the camera. And then in the following one, we'll make several AI agents follow one another, start to not follow the mouse, but follow characters. For example, could be your player character. But that said, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.